Hey guys, I'm coming to you today because um, I wanted to talk to you about pouches. And uh, what do I mean by that? Well, you know, I'm always looking for something to put something in. And, um, you, you know, maybe you're going up to the fence line to repair some fencing. Or maybe you're just going kayaking. Or maybe you're just going to the doctor's office. You know, we're always looking for something to put something in. And, um, yeah, we could use a backpack, but... Um, you know, then it, you get a backpack, right? You got to lug that big thing around. And so um, I looked and looked and looked for on the uh, market and I you know, really couldn't find anything I wanted. But I came across these uh, right here. And these are sustainment pouches. Um, we used to put them on the, uh, the uh, back of the, they, they hook right up to the back of the pack. And um, originally the thought was put MREs in them so that you could grab them. And um, you have quick access to your MREs. Um, but we ended up using them for a lot more. And I'd like to share this with you today. And if you'd like to hear more about this pouch, uh, I'm also going to be showing another pouch to you too. And um, if you're interested in that, check out the video. Okay, guys. Um, what, what you have here is a um, U.S. military sustainment pouch. It's uh, 10 inches by um, 8 inches, and it's 4 inches here on the side. And um, you have a nice uh, drain hole here. You see in the bottom there. And um, nice, uh, really heavy-duty uh, thermoplastic snaps. They come loose easy. Turn it on the back. You have molly attachments to put on the pack if you want to put it on the pack. On the sides here, uh, you can see thermoplastic D-rings. Really heavy duty, uh, double stitching in this stuff. And um, uh, I just love this pack. So um, uh, we're always looking for something to put something in. Uh, you know, I'll throw a couple bottles of water in that. My... Uh, um, batteries for my phone, a book, and head off to the doctor's office. Um, you know, because you need that. Because you, if you get a 10 o'clock appointment, you might see a doctor by one, right? Um, uh, most often, I, I have a snap, uh, strap here. You just hook it up to the D ring. Most of the time, I have a strap on this so I could carry it around. But these things are incredible, versatile. Um, I take this uh, kayaking with me. You can put a drill in there, some, a hammer, some wire cutter, some some uh, screws and water and uh, so some a little bit of food and go up to the fence line and repair your fence, fence line without having to pull your whole uh, toolbox up there. And uh, that's really the idea here. I'm looking for a carrying pouch that I can just quickly throw some things in. Uh, I really like to use this on the kayak rather than uh, my backpack. You know, the backpacks are bitter, bigger. You don't have a lot of room on a kayak. You can put them on there, but this this is just great. You can set it right by your feet. It's very handy. You can get to your uh, uh, camera. You can get to your water, your uh, spare food, and uh, it's right there for you. So these are just uh, great options. And um, this is just a little cheap um, EDC pouch that I bought. Um, you can see here pretty deep carries quite a bit has a nice little uh, um, place if you wanted to put a firearm um, but this thing you know it just does not carry uh, enough and to highlight that for you I'm going to show you something and um, you can take this whole pouch Stick it down in there and look at all the room you still have in that pouch. It's amazing. It just, uh, this thing will carry a lot more than this pouch and this pouch carries a lot of stuff, you know. Um, so this is a military surplus. The other good thing about these is you can buy them for about $5.50. That's 
just, I mean, you buy those EDC pouches and uh, you're going to pay 70 bucks, right? Uh, 40 to $70, sometimes more. So military surplus is uh, just has a lot of stuff that's really, really um, helpful to you. Um, I wanted to show you another pouch real quick. Um, this pouch is a, um, a little pouch, uh, I'd say four inches by about seven and four inches deep. It's almost square. It's like a rectangle. <clears throat> but this is a uh, night vision pouch to protect your night vision equipment. And um, the reason I got this pouch is my little hunting binoculars here, you know, um, they came. Oh, this is my rangefinder, but with my rangefinder, um, it comes with a, a pouch. But when you put this into a pack, it just gets banged around. And uh, the, the cushioning here for this pouch is very, very minimal. I'd say it's almost non-existent. And if you look down inside here, this pouch is uh, meant to carry $1,000 uh, night vision equipment. The, the padding on it is really, really thick. And um, you just stick your binoculars down in here. And uh, now, now, if you want, you can put that onto the outside of your pack, right? You could put that, a belt through there and carry it on your belt if you wanted to. Um, you got a drain hole here in case water gets in there, but it's not going to get in there. And uh, this material is... Um, I think it's 600 uh, Cordera. That's a very, very tough nylon. Um, it's not, it's water repellent. It's not waterproof, but um, you can always spray this with waterproofing if you wanted to. Uh, but I find, um, unless you're out in the rain for a long, long time, it, you know, it's just not gonna soak through this pouch. Very tight weave on this nylon. Uh, it's very rugged, very hard to, uh, uh, like briars and things like that are not going to rip through this and so um, I hope the, that helps you out uh, military surplus is great I'm going to be doing some more uh, videos on it and um, I hope you enjoyed the video if you did go ahead and like it and um, uh, if you'd like to see more content like this subscribe <clears throat> Remember, you shall know the truth. The truth shall set you free. And I really appreciate you guys watching the video. Thanks.